Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is gradient and equation of a straight line. So the subtopic for today is a linear equation in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. So we are going to see what this linear equation is and how we can be able to convert an equation of a straight line into this linear equation. So first, we can express a linear equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So all the equations we were discussing in the previous video, we can be able to convert them into the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So for example, if you are given such an equation and you're supposed to represent this equation in, this linear, in a form of linear equation, that means we have to ensure that we have left y in one side. So let's do so with this question. So let's do step by step. So we we'll start with the equation, the equation as it is. The first thing we want to do is move the x, the values of the x to the other side. So this becomes 3y is equals to minus 8 minus 4x. Be careful with the minuses. So since 4x is, was positive in this side, when it moves to the other side, it changes to a negative value. And our equation is not complete because you can see we have a value next to the y. So we need to get rid of that value. And we can do so by dividing all places, remember everywhere, by 3. If you do so, you get y is equals to negative 8 over 3 minus 4 over 3x. Let's work out another question. So we have also this equation of a line. We want to make it linear. So let's write that one more time. So for us to do this, I, want, I will take the positive 7 one by one. So 3y minus 6x is equals to minus 7. And then I'll take the minus 6x into the other side as well, which gives us 3y is equals to minus 7 plus 6x. Once again, our y has a, a value before it. So for us to remove this number, we divide everywhere by 3, everywhere by 3, so that we end up with y is equals to minus 7 over 3 plus. So this is possible to divide because 6 is a multiple 3 is a multiple of 6 so 3 divided by 3 1 divided by 3 you get 2 so it becomes 2x so that is how it's written in the form of y is equals to mx plus c so when we are looking at this linear equation we can be able to determine the x intercept and the y intercept so the x intercept of a line is a value of y at the point where the line crosses the y-axis. And in this case, when you are looking at the equation of a linear equation, when you said y is equals to mx plus c, the c value that we talk about is actually the y-intercept. And then the x-intercept of a graph is a value of x where the graph crosses at x-axis. So for us to get the x-intercept, we have to I, um, we have to get the value of x when y is 0. And for us to get the y-intercept, we need to get the value of y when x is 0. So it's found in that manner. So for example, if you have this equation and you have been told to look for the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So for us to get, for example, the x-intercept, we said... We said we are going to get the value of x when y is equal to 0. So we we'll go back to an equation and input. And remember, your equation needs to be in the form of y is equal to mx plus c so that it can work better. So you put 0 in your values. This becomes y is equal to, um, this is 0 now because our value is 0 is equal to 3x plus 2. So this is the same as our plus 2 goes to the other side and becomes minus 2. Because there is a 0, we just leave it as it is, is equals to 3x. Divide by 3, we divide by 3 both sides, we get the value of x as minus 2. So the x-intercept is minus a half. 
for the y-intercept of the same equation, we say there's a value of y when x is equal to 0. So we are going to place the 0 in our equation. So the equation is y is equal to 3x plus 2. So whenever we have an x, we put a 0. So y is equal to 3, 0, plus 2. So this becomes y is equal to positive 2. So the y-intercept is 2. So if you were to get the different coordinates of the x-intercept and y-intercept, this would be negative a half, 0. You see the value of y is 0. And then if you want to get the y-intercept where the x is 0, this coordinate would be 0, positive 2, or 0, 2. So that's how we get the x-intercept and y-intercept. So we are going to do a few questions. So find the equation of a line whose x-intercept is 3 and the y-intercept is 6. So we said the x-intercept happens when the value of y is 0. So we have the x-intercept is negative 3. So this tells us this coordinate is negative 3, 0. And then the y-intercept in the second statement is equals to 6. That tells us the y-intercept is gotten when x is equal to 0. So this coordinate is 0, 6. So remember, when we are looking for the equation, we need to get the gradient. So when we calculate the gradient, you take this as x1, y1, x2, y2. So it will be changed in y, so it is y2 minus y1 over y x2 minus x1. So our gradient is equals to 6 minus 0 over our x is, x2 is 0 minus minus 3. So this will give us 6 minus 0 is 6, minus 0 minus 3 gives us 3. But this is not done. We, we cancelled, so by 3, 1, by 3, 2. So our gradient is 2. The question is look for the equation. What we have basically looked for is so far gradient. So we will pick one coordinate. We can pick negative 3, 0, or we pick 0, 6. Let's pick negative 3, 0 as one of our points. Our other point will be x, y, unknown. And our gradient, remember, is 2. So this is going to be our x1, this y1. This is going to be x2, y2. So the change will be y minus 0, and then our change in x will be x minus minus 3, and our gradient is equal to 2. So this is the same as y minus 0 over x plus 3, because of the plus minus minus gives us 3 is equal to 2. And then remember we said for this whole number is the same as over 1. So you cross multiply, which gives you y minus 0 multiply by 1 is equal to 2 into bracket x plus 3. So we don't have to put the 0, so y times 1 gives us y. 1 times 0 is 0, so it's to just leave it as it is, is equal to 2 times x will give us 2x plus 2 times 3 will give us 6. So this is the equation of the line. So next we have been told to look for the gradient and the y-intercept of the following lines. So you have been given the equation of a line, we get the y-intercept and the gradient. Remember, we can be able to do so by just working out the equation to form to a linear form. So when you look at the equation, we have been given 2y is equals to 6x plus 1. So we change this into a linear form, we ensure we are left with y one side. But we still there is a number in front of y. So for us to be left with y one side, we divide by 2, by 2, by 2. So we are left with y, this cancels, is equals to, this cancels as well, by 2, 1, by 2, 3. So it forms 3x plus a half. So this is in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. And we said c is the y-intercept. In so in this case, the y-intercept, the answer is going to be positive, a half. And then for the gradient is m. m represents the gradient. 
And in this case, our m is equals to 3. So the gradient is equals to 3. So let's look at another question so that we can understand what we did. So you have been given the equation. We need to put it in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. So as you can see, our equation is almost, we are almost, it's almost in that form, but not completely. So let's change this equation a bit. I'm going to change the direction. So this is the same as 5y is equals to 3 into bracket 2x plus 1. It's just the same. So this is the same as 5y is equals to 3 times 2x forms 6x, 3 times 1 forms 3. So we have to divide by 5 everywhere to be left with the value the way we want it. So this becomes y is equals to 6 over 5x plus 3 over 5x. Since this is in the form of y is equals to mx plus c, this, there is no x here. So the x inter, the y intercept becomes c, which is 3 over 5. And then the m, which is the gradient, becomes now the 6 over 5. And that concludes what we are learning today. So you can check out more revision questions in the app and also the notes so that you can get to understand the topic even more. Watch out for the next video.